Gemini Moon, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, today we are doing the reading from beautiful Balmoral Beach here in Sydney, Australia. I hope you like this location as much as I do. I just love being here. I have so many good memories of this place, especially in my 20s. I used to come here a lot with my friends. So I just love being here. And I'll be in Australia for the next few months. So who knows where we're going to be next month? Who knows? Um, how about I get stuck into your mini reading? Now, what I'm doing this month is I'm dividing everything into two. There are two big movements in the sky that I want to cover. So we're looking at a future opportunity and we're looking at the past. These are the two big things that we're looking at. So the future opportunity is Mars and Rahu are sharing the sign of Gemini. And that's from 7 May to 22nd June 2019. And that's happening in your first house. So health is your future opportunity, right? You need to invest some of that future energy into building the next level up in terms of your health. There's a real opportunity to do that, right? So it might be time to restructure how you look after yourself. Um, you might want to rethink your fitness regime. Maybe you want to restructure your day slightly to incorporate more exercise. Um, it's also a really good time to reflect on your beliefs as well, your power to fight for things in your life. Because of course, this is happening in your first house. Yes, it's health, but it's you. It's who you are. It's what you believe in as well. So this is a really good opportunity to do that. Remember, this is a really important thing to remember. Now, Mars and Rahu coming together in Gemini. This can get a bit, um, and your moon is there. This, this can get a bit full on. So I've got a note here. Remember, when you don't need to use power, that's when you have it, right? So when, you know, powerful people don't need to flex their muscles and show or use it or none of that. It's kind of this Taoist thing that I'm talking about here. The power, powerful people, you know, if you don't need to use it, that's when you have it. So I just wanted to make that note there. Now, what's the past that you're going to have to deal with? The past to deal with is Jupiter retrograde in Scorpio till 8th July. So Jupiter's retrograding in Scorpio. So, I mean, that can be... This is actually going to bring up some old things in terms of what you've already seen. Say, for example, Jan, Feb, March. You've covered some ground there. You're going to be covering some similar ground there again in the months coming up. And that's going to be happening That's in relation to sixth house matters. So that could be in terms of your career, could be in terms of work, could be to do with litigation, competitors, those you consider enemies, right? Um, again, your health may require attention. Uh, and you might need to spend some time improving your diet or exercise routine, okay? So now next door to Jupiter retrograde, we've got Saturn K2 next door in Sagittarius. So you might want to look out for new illumination in your marriage or business, that seventh house, right? So I just wanted to do a little check-in because Saturn K2 are conjunct next door to this Jupiter retrograde. I did a video about that, which I think I called a new surge of awakening. You can have a watch of that if you'd like to catch up on that and see what's happening with that conjunction. But guys, overall, I mean, I think, I think it's gonna be an interesting month. I think we're all gonna to have to watch our tendencies towards aggression, our tendencies towards wanting revenge, wanting to fight. You know, we're all gonna to have to watch that within ourselves and possibly take the dog for a walk more than often you know what I mean or find an excuse to get out of the house right so uh, it's gonna be an interesting time May June so Gemini moon I'm gonna leave you with that and I want to thank you so much for tuning in hey guys I thought I'd share with you this beautiful scene so I was sitting just over there on those rocks and this is the whole scene isn't it stunning